I don't think I have a tool problem. You guys think I have a tool problem? No. Coffee problem, maybe. Not a tool problem. All right, while I'm waiting for my scan tool to update, how about a quick tip on clunking or thumping sound coming from the front right of your Honda Civic? Let's go check it out. I'll show you what's going on. All right, pretty common issue that goes on with these eighth generation Civics where you hear a clunk or a thumping sound coming from the front, front of the vehicle and many times you can isolate it to the right side of the vehicle. And uh, obviously anytime you hear a thump or a clunk or something like that, you definitely want to check out everything, including your suspension. I already raised this vehicle up and I made sure the struts and strut mounts and sway bar links and uh, compliance bushings, ball joints, you know, bearings, all that stuff looked good on this vehicle. But I, I did put it up in the air just to make sure. And of course, you should do that too if you hear any thumping or clunking sound coming, especially going over bumps and stuff. But uh, let me show you what the issue is that's really going on with this vehicle. Now, anytime I hear a clunk, thumping sound like that, I always like to make sure that the engine mounts look good and I always I'll try to peek in here you know and look for cracks look for anything that looks like it's broken or moved it's hard to see the rubber up under there you know sometimes um, you can put a mirror in there and get a light in there but you want to check all these things out you know especially on the torque rod right there and then right here I don't know can I get a shot of it you can see right on the top of this mount right here little bit of a crack right there it's hard to tell does that crack go all the way through or not let me show you a quick test that I like to do to uh, verify whether it's broken all the way through or not all right I'm gonna do what's called a brake torque test safety first I'm gonna put chalks in front of the wheels so we don't run me or the anybody over and we don't drive the vehicle into the wall and I have them on both sides all right with the emergency brake fully on I'm going to put one foot on the brake all the way. Going to make sure that this car is not going to move. Then I'm going to put it in drive. That's why this is dangerous. I don't recommend you try this at home, kids. And then I'm just going to hit the gas like that. And that's going to make that engine torque under load. And we'll go check it out under the vehicle. Always got to be careful with this because it's uh, it can be dangerous. Can, uh, drive the car through your house if you don't know what you're doing don't try this all right now while I do this I want you to watch that engine mount right there let me know if it moves okay I'll be in the car so I won't be able to see it Now, were you able to see that thing move? I'll have to review the footage and make sure you can see it move. You should have been able to see that thing pop up and down. Um, that's a great way to tell whether your engine mount is broken. In this case, this one's broken. It's going to need to be replaced. Um, I'll do the same test again, but not under load. I'll just put it in park and then hit the engine. You'll see that it won't move. You won't be able to tell that it's broken. As you can see with no load on the engine that thing won't move and you can't tell it's broken all right so as you saw it's broken right here so new engine mount is what's going to fix this car i'm also going to put a new torque rod in there too most likely this is deteriorated enough and this rubber right here that there's no sense in replacing this and not doing this one at the same time um, i usually generally like to use only honda engine uh, mount parts Sometimes it's unavoidable, you got to use aftermarket, but I do like to use Honda whenever I can because they just fit better. A lot of times these bolts and stuff don't like to line up on aftermarket stuff. Uh, if you want me to film the repair, let me know. Leave it in the comments. And as always, hey, if the video helped you out or you liked it, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.